There can be no growth in any kind of relationship, whether it's with God, friends, someone you're dating, family, or any other kind of relationship without learning to open up to people. The reason why you may be struggling in your relationship with God is because you haven't learned how to be vulnerable. Do you know how to be vulnerable with God? Do you understand how powerful it is to open up to someone? Vulnerability moves a relationship from superficial to intimate. It's being vulnerable that helps us move forward in our relationships. It is the key sometimes to our deliverance and our freedom. Learning to open up helps us to be seen and loved as who we really are and not who we are trying to be. God is not interested in the perfect you, the washed up you, the put together you, the you who doesn't make mistakes. He is interested in the real you. No relationship that is authentic can be built upon lies and half truth. God wants you to put off the mask. Put off the mask in your relationship with Him, in your relationship with your friends. You don't have to pretend what you are not. God already knows who you are. He sees every part of you. There is nothing that you can possibly tell Him that would surprise Him. He knows you. He wants you to trust Him enough with yourself that you show Him the real you. When you open up to God, you tell Him, Father, I know you, I know you love me and I love you too and so I choose to trust you. I know that you are not fickle. I know that you will not condemn me because you already know me. You can help me. This is what God wants to hear. The reason a lot of people struggle to open up to God is because they are not assured of God's love for them. They are not sure that God loves them really, really as they are. They were afraid that if God was to see those broken parts, he would somehow love them less or be disappointed in them, forgetting that there really is no one who knows them as much as God does. He sees everything already. Your speaking it or choosing not to speak it out or your struggles doesn't mean that he's not aware of them. Your deliverance is in learning how to be vulnerable and opening up to him. When you are struggling, the devil wants you to keep it to yourself because he knows that there can be no hope for you when you try to do it all alone. There can be no support, no comfort. But when you expose your struggles to the light, they suddenly lose a lot of their power. What are you refusing to allow God into? What have you been struggling to carry all by yourself? as though God was interested in you proving yourself capable to him. The life of the Christian is a God-dependent one. Jesus said it wonderfully well when he said in John chapter 5 and verse 19, and say, So Jesus answered them by saying, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, unless it is something he sees the Father doing. For whatsoever things the Father does, the Son, in his turn, also does in the same way. He understood that it was impossible to live the life of the Spirit in his own power. You've got to open up to God today. You've got to lean on his strength. Let his wisdom and comforts carry you. He is not disappointed. He is not afraid to be challenged by your struggles or your feelings. You will not be surprising him or making him fearful. There is nothing you bring to him that he cannot deal with. There is nothing that he does not have the capacity to handle. So why exactly are you trying to do it all by yourself? Why are you carrying burdens that you were never intended to carry just because you are too stubborn to give it over to God? Lay it at his feet. Let him know what the issue is. Let him know how you truly feel. Let him know what you need help with. You see, there is nothing your Heavenly Father loves more than being able to meet your needs. Like every other earthly father, he wants to know that he can provide what you need and when you need it. He wants to be Abba, your provider, your source, your everything. So leave the mask at the door. Abandon the facade, the need to be perfect and put together 
that God has not demanded or asked of you. And lean, lean and find your rest. When you were confused, tell him. When you can figure it out, let him know. You cannot receive healing for a sickness that you claim not to have. When you were struggling with doubt, talk to him about it. This is what the father of the boy with the spirit, who the disciples could not cast out, told Jesus. We see the story in Mark chapter 9, from verse 20 to 27. Let me read it for you. It says, And they brought the boy unto him, and when the spirit saw him, straight away he tore the boy and fell down to the ground, and a while he would about for me. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, From childhood. And oftentimes it has cast him into fire and the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straight away the father of the child cried out and said, With tears, Lord, I believe. Help down my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit and saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried and rent the boy sorely and came out of him. And he was as one dead in so much that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up. And he arose. See, Jesus could have refused to heal the boy because his father was struggling with unbelief side by side with his fate. He could have said, even though you know it's me and after all you've had, you shouldn't have any doubts at all. But he understood. He knew that he had faith as well as he had some unbelief. And it was the fact that he was opening up to Jesus and asking for help with his unbelief that qualified his son to receive his miracle. Open up to Jesus today. Open up to your Heavenly Father. Even John the Baptist who anointed Jesus and saw the Holy Spirit come upon him still questioned Jesus at some point. When he was locked up in prison without any deliverance, he began to have doubts after some time. He couldn't understand because he was dealing with a difficult situation. Jesus could have gotten angry at the fact that John was doubting him, but he understood John and he simply sent a message to build up his faith once again. What are you dealing with? What doubts do you have? Let God in today. Open up to God and see him deal with all those things that have held you back and give you comfort and the solutions that you need today in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.